As I do my canvas of the area, knowing Abaco, again, better than anybody in that meeting, um, don't looking for no invite, but if they had half a brain, they would invite somebody that has the experience with Kai Mills, because neither one of them got the experience to know what's going on. And my MP, if he would have let me talk, rather than having all this saying, don't live here, never live here in 35 years, I would explain something to him, that he has the power uh, to move this, but they can't even move the garbage. As member of parliament, they can't move the garbage off the dock here. But I want to just show it, hopefully, it's too late now, but those things right there, um, they are a dead trap during the hurricane. They're sitting right there. The hurricane takes them off and moves them like a bullet. And last hurricane flood, they flattened a lot of people's homes, these same containers. If they knew half of what they know, these containers, it's a dead trap and they will kill people. And they're going to do more harm. But you see anybody looking to move them? That's because they don't know anything. Violation, I'm trying to, trying to get pilots to try to uh, make a walkway through the mud instead of getting out of the mud. Getting, where, where are you going with this pilot? It, you go in, you go in the mud. But you need to come with the mud. This pilot can float and you can float with it. I try to pack my man. Okay, so you're smart. You hear what I'm saying? So you're coming out of the mud. Yeah. That pilot can't help you. See, I find my ticket. I got to move fucking in the mud. Boy, you got to laugh at these Haitians. They're in Skylock. I see. I know we got in the pilot, but. He's using that pallet to walk through the mud um, when the hurricane comes. But what he don't know is the hurricane will be over the, the water will be over the over your house. So you ain't need no pallet. <laughs> but let him do what he gotta do. But um, again, it's a hurricane. Anything that's not tied down, it flies. We're on the dock here. These things here, anybody with got common sense can know that you could secure your place much as you like, but every one of these will fly and kill somebody, but they ain't got the kind of brains. They know it all. As I do my canvassing, and all this stuff, any decent country, all them what's in the meeting, they should have got together and make sure that these debris, these pallets will fly like a rock, and if they hit something at 140 mile an hour, they're gonna bust it open. But this is the thing I could have told my MP, but they don't want me to be in the meeting. That it's a rocket. These are dangerous things. Uh, I see him locking up this trolley here, but everything will be gone over there. Everything or that, if they don't move it off this dock, the tide comes over this dock at 10 feet. That's the rise of the tide. And that will be gone. All them bottles was going to Haiti, there'll be a debris in this island. All this stuff. Look up here. This is a hurricane. Anybody and those ones in NEMA, from NEMA, that sits in those meetings, that got their job from the member of parliament that liked them, not because they got no brains, because all the brains was not in the meeting. NEMA should have walked around and do, uh, the, MP, the MP said he's had to do a walk around. Why you don't walk around on this dock? This is the front. This is where the hurricane comes from off the waterfront and moves inland. The hurricane gonna move this way. And all this stuff gonna carry this way into the mud, the peas and marsh harbor, and gonna kill somebody. But you can't tell them this. Today, I thought that they have all the brains that they would remove this stuff off of marsh harbor dock. That's gonna be a death trap for somebody, but not them. They ain't move nothing. That boat right there, lobster trap, gone. Don't mind the tie up there, that one gone. I wonder, <laughs> this boat's still here. I see the engine parts right there because they ain't going away. Everything on this boat is gone. This is the before. Look at, these, look at this stuff. They got this big meeting, all them big, I won't call the word, but I won't call on TV um, in the meetings. But look at this place. The fridge, a missile, all that is a missile. What's going to stop it? This boat going to sink right here. Um, too bad for these people that has all this money invested. This boat 
was trying to get out here. All them generators that they steal from up there near our rock agency, all them could be sink right here. This could be a lobster trap. Look at the rope that they're using. This rope is thread, man. That rope ain't no good. I hope then, I don't know where this people is, but this boat ought not be to this dock. Wherever this is, all this goods, all this money, and this is plenty money in Haiti, but uh, the engine broke down, and this boat will sink right to this dock. You trust Kai Mills on that one. All this going to be the uh, debris. They sure will bank car, they will bank car, even in make Haiti. This one ain't gonna make Haiti. This boat, this dock, this boat should be moved from the dock. Old bank, your old car there, 59. She ain't gonna make Haiti. Engine still ain't fixed. And talking to me today. How are gonna be here tomorrow? It'll be a game changer. All these wood on this. Why is this boat still here? My question is why is this boat still at the dock? Why is it at the dock? And we pushing 140 mile an hour wind coming onto this dock where's the name of people where are the people in the uh, in the meeting that's supposed to make sure that we're safe this one gonna sink where it's gonna sink I don't know but the tide's gonna rise up here 10 feet so this gonna sit on top up top of the dock and break up but it ain't gonna stay there and you imagine a 140 mile an hour wind knocking this old rusty unseaworthy boat against the dock. This one ain't gonna last through the hurricane. I just want to tell you, show you the picture. The captain keep running. He ain't want nobody to see him on TV. Every time I move, he move the next way. But I see him right back there hiding. But this one gone. I just want to take a picture out, off this and let everybody know that has investment on it. You just lost that investment. You got to start again because that one is over before the storm. And this is how we are in Abaco. And this is a reminder of the government of the Bahamas and all them with their fancy glasses and their fancy outfit and their fancy necktie. Um, if you look behind the green uh, palette, that is what they're trying to secure the door. But the door being blown up from Hurricane Floyd 20 years ago. And we got pallet here to try to secure this door, this dock, and it ain't gonna happen. And I see all kind of missiles on this place. All this could be gone. And again, look at the debris. All these is potential missile. Any sensible thinking government, any sensible thinking people will take the garbage before it spread all over the island and take it to the dump. You clean up before the storm, but here on this dock, this is what you got. All them right there. All them there. I'm just doing my little video. They got the Americans over here, fill them in. I could fill them too. All these stuff right here is missile. This fridge being here from God knows when. They're using it as a dumpster. But this should have been removed before the hurricane because this is a potential death trap. You got the... Uh, garbage thing down there that's a killer <laughs> these are all the things I know I've seen it and as I canvas this dock before this hurricane hits Abaco ain't no way it's gonna miss Abaco the question is how powerful would it be water is one of the most powerful being you have never seen water destroy concrete water destroyed the shoreline of Dundestan in the back of the Church of God solid coral rock the water of the ocean tear the rock apart float anything these pallets they will float them and the wind will carry it and nobody has taken this debris I've done three videos of this garbage, and this is here. This could fly all into the islands. Only one thing good about this hurricane, that all of this will be washed off. For the first time, for the first time in years, this dock will be smack and smooth. 
all the debris will be gone. But the question is, where would the debris go? Would these containers kill somebody in their home? That is the question for the government while they're sitting down there in their little office acting to know about hurricane. This, was, this ought not be. We had weeks, a week to prepare. And on the eve of the hurricane, these stuff has not been clear off the dock. But they don't know because they're too busy driving around playing the role of knowing what's going on. As the seas in Abaco is calm, I'm talking about beautiful calm at 20 minutes after 12. This is the calm before the storm. And the calmer the seas, the more powerful the hurricane, because I understand that the calm will come and the hurricane will blow. We're now on the calm side. The universal God gonna soon talk. Ain't long now. You'll soon see what I'm talking about. Y'all stay within your little meeting with them people that don't know what's going on. Uh, she got this 20 years later. The government of the Bahamas cannot fix a door in Abaco. The hurricane got carried out. You can forget that's garbage. All that gone. Gone. You're live on the dock here at Marsh Harbor. As I finish my video here at the dock with all this stuff right here. Look at this garbage here they got here. The wind gonna suck up under that and just carry it out to the community to kill somebody in the mud. It's all missiles. As these fellas out here, um, I trying to interview the captain of this boat, boy, but they, they playing crazy on me. I trying to figure out what they could do with this boat because they can't stay here. I want to interview the, the captain of this boat. This fella in the blue shape, but got so much to say. This one right here with the blue pants on. Yeah, he got plenty to say. He speak English good. Okay. Uh, we all plan y'all didn't plan on spending hurricane on this boat, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Ain't nobody uh, interviewing me. He got all to say in the distance. I come up close to him, but he ain't want to get close. Come here, come here. Where you spending hurricane? No, I'm not Don't speak no Creole to me. You just speaking English just now. Oh, man. Where you gonna spend hurricane? Sea Claude. Sea Claude? Yeah. Where that is? It's hurricane. It's my language, the sea cloud. I ain't talking about sea cloud. I know what hurricane mean in Creole. I asked you where you go spend it. Huh? Playing crazy on me. But anyway, <laughs> what I mean, you know who's smart? Me and me look out Haitian like they ain't got no sense. Haitian smart and all of them. They, <laughs> Haitian smart and the Bahamas Defense Force. They bring these boats right past the Bahamas Defense Force, full of coke, full of people, full of guns. And them fools right there playing dominoes and checkers while the Haitian and flood these islands with all kind of illegal stuff. These same little boat, where they think don't wait nothing, don't mind them hold, that's for putting coke in and gone and things. But this one is over. You ain't gonna see this boat no more. As I report from the beautiful dock, boy, it's calm. Look at that beautiful calm. I just wanna show you how calm it is in Abaco. At this time of day, how beautiful the water is in Abaco, how calm. And that's what I'm looking at, the calm of the water. She calm body. That's the Campbells and the Archers resident back there. They may survive this one. Only God will tell. But anybody is on the waterfront, look out for the rise of the tide. As Kai Mills on the docks of Marshaba, sweating, bringing the message to the people and trying to educate the ones in the meeting that y'all dropped the ball because you didn't put your best people forward. You're politicizing the hurricane right up to the eve of the biggest hurricane to hit Abaco in 20 years. They're still politicking with people's lives and with the storms because they haven't done what they ought to have done and they don't have the people at the table that know what to do during the storm and after the storm. We have something in school we call the practical and the theory. You may be good with the theory, but you may not good, be good with the practical. But when you have somebody that knows the practical and the theory, 
they ought to be on board. That's Kai, practical and theory man. I'm a storm chaser because I respect the universal God. While the rest of them in the meeting will be crying and got their tail between their legs like a coward dog. Kai know what's going on. And y'all dropped the ball by not moving this debris off the dock that bring 45 to $100 million into Abaco. We can't spend a million dollars on this dock in the past 15 years. And we had a prime minister with the biggity self named Yuba Ingram that didn't do nothing. I wonder how that part is in North Abaco. You know what this would be if they were to spend 40 million to improve, to dredge this part, to improve the infrastructure of this part? No, but you would gone down there and spend 45 million on a part that's been closed, been finished for over 10 years. And only Jesus Christ himself know when it's gonna be open. Shame, shame, shame. As Kai talk, somebody's gonna listen. This hurricane is coming. Kai cares on the dock in Marshaba. As I show Abaco the calm before the universal God. Gonna have white caps. You ever see five foot seas in Marshaba Harbor? I've seen, I've seen it. If you're brave enough to go, you'll see it in a little while. Reporting when the seas are calm in Abaco on WCAY.